Hey everybody! AirPods are really awesome headphones with so many different features and capabilities that it's rare for most people to know their full abilities. In this video, I'm going to go over some other lesser known features the AirPods offer so you can get the most out of your AirPods experience. Let's get to it! First off, did you know you can use noise cancellation on your AirPods Pro with just one AirPod? It's pretty handy for those that only use one at a time. I've met so many people that just use one at a time, whether it's to be able to listen to music but still be present, or using them to talk on the phone in the car all day. Turning this feature on is really simple. On your iPhone, open the Settings app, then Find and tap Accessibility. Then scroll down and tap AirPods. Then tap your AirPods Pro and toggle along the option under Noise Control that says Noise Cancellation with one AirPod. The next feature that can be really handy is Live Listen. With Live Listen, your iPhone can act like a microphone that sends sound to your AirPods. Live Listen can help you hear a conversation in a noisy area or even hear someone speaking across the room. Live Listen is very simple to use and I found it to be really handy for late night TV viewing in situations where you don't want to disturb other people sleeping in the house. And the best part is, there's no special equipment required. Just put your iPhone beside the TV speakers so you can keep the TV volume low and then turn up the volume on your AirPods so you can hear it nice and loud. To use Live Listen, you'll need to add it to Control Center on your iPhone. So first, go to Settings, and then tap Control Center. Then in the Control Center menu, scroll down and locate the blue icon with an ear on it labeled Hearing. Once located, press the green plus to the left to add it to your Control Center. While you're here, feel free to rearrange the items in your Control Center at the top of the screen by pressing and holding the lines on the right to move the items up or down the list. This corresponds to how they are presented in Control Center, starting in top left, moving left to right, top to bottom. To use Live Listen, put your AirPods on and make sure they're connected to your iPhone. Then open Control Center by swiping down from the top right like normal, and now tap the ear icon we added to Control Center. Then tap Live Listen to activate the feature. When you'd like to turn it off, tap Live Listen again to toggle it off. And a little pro tip, if you're using this feature to watch TV at night, if you have an Apple Watch, you can still adjust the AirPods volume using the Now Playing app, which can come in handy if you're watching something with commercials in it. Another feature many people I talk to still aren't aware of is audio sharing. You can share the music or media you're listening to with another person who has AirPods as well. To use this feature on your iPhone, go to Control Center, tap the Audio Output button. Once you're in this menu, tap Share Audio. In the first example, I'm going to use a friend's set of AirPods. Just open them up close to your iPhone and you'll get a screen asking if you want to temporarily share audio with them or connect them. Just choose Temporarily Share Audio. Then you'll get a screen that asks you to press the button on the back to initiate the temporary pairing. Then they'll connect. Now you're sharing the audio from your iPhone. See how easy that is? I find it's a great feature if you're at the gym and want to share your music with your workout partner. And the last helpful feature that most don't seem to be aware of is the Announce Notifications option. When you're wearing your AirPods, Siri can announce incoming notifications from apps such as Messages and Reminders, and from other supported third-party apps. Then you can reply instantly, hands-free. It can be pretty handy. To turn this feature on, open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap Notifications. In the Siri section, tap on Announce Notifications, then switch on the Headphones option. Below that, you can then also select any third-party apps you'd like to use the feature with, as well, such as WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. Now, the next time you get a message when you have your AirPods on, Siri will read it to you and give you the option to respond with your voice using Siri. I find I rarely use Siri to respond, but I do like Siri to read the messages to me so I can think about what to reply with when I get the chance. Those are some of the great lesser known AirPods features that can help you get the most out of your AirPods. Are there any obscure features you think I should have mentioned? Tell us about them in the comments below. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more tech videos, including tech how-tos. See you in the next one!